Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin, and I'm cooking at home. You know, sometimes I make puff paste, which is a pretty complicated process, but very often I buy it at the supermarket. I'm doing a dessert for two. I have a large pear, which is a little bit damaged here. So I'm going to peel it and um, use it with a layer of puff paste on top. Puff paste is, of course, a complicated process of doing dough, which is flour and water, and spreading it out and covering it with a lot of butter. And then you fold it and spread it and fold it and spread it to get multi-layer effect that you have in a Napoleon, Volovan, those type of things. Again, here, make sure you put your thumb the right way here when you take the center of this. This is a, a pear which is well, pretty ripe, you know, but even if it's not as ripe, it will work well with that recipe. So here we are, putting it here and there. I'll put a little bit of sugar here. I'm going to put a little bit of melted butter on top of this. A dash of uh, apricot, you don't have to, or peach. Peach or apricot, make the sauce around, and maybe a little bit of water. We're uh, like two, two, three tablespoons. Then I have that piece of puff paste that, as you can see, it's a little freezer burn here on the side, but it's okay. I'm going to put it around there and around here. It's an easy way of doing it. Then I'll brush it with a bit of butter here. That always help. So I have about a tablespoon and a half of butter all together here. And then maybe a good uh, one, two teaspoons of sugar on top. And that's it. That's going to go into the oven for like 30 minutes about. Well, back to the pear in puff paste. They have been out of the oven about 10 minutes. They stay 400 degrees for like 30, 35 minutes in the oven. And they're still warm. And that's it. I like to serve them lukewarm. There is a little bit of, of syrup coming out of it. Yeah. Beautiful. And let's see the inside. Look, what place is nice and crispy on top. Whoop, making a mess. Mmm. That's a very elegant dessert, which I hope you do for your friend or your family. Happy cooking.